Hey folks, Canadian Prepper here. Oh, wait, no, wrong channel. All right, so what's up guys? The Prepared Guy here, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about EDC. That stands for Everyday Carry. Is that, is that, did I pop up on the screen like that? That's cool. Oh no, is it, oh, it's down there. Cool, all right. So anyways, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is something that you keep on you every day when you leave the house, something that helps you get through your day, something that's a tool, that's versatile, that you can bring with you and feel like I got this situation covered because I have this one in particular device. First up, number one, cell phone. Everybody has their cell phone with them. It's versatile, it's got a battery, it's got light, you know, you have a flashlight on these, you can call for help, it's got an SOS signal, you can do all these things, you can take pictures and video, and, and it's great to have, it's great to have a cell phone. So, that's number one on the list, everybody has that. I mean, if you're a 13 year old girl and you leave your house, more than likely you have your phone with you. So, that's not really an EDC, but it is. So, first up on the list of things for EDC that I wanna kinda go over is um, a flashlight. Flashlights are cool. You never know, these these die out pretty quick and they're not super bright. So you want a bright flashlight that will last a lot longer. You can keep on your person that's small enough. See how small this is? It's the size of a finger, literally. It's a Bushnell. It is $20, I think, at Walmart. And it comes with a AAA battery. And the AAA battery lasts a long time. I literally get like weeks of use out of this before it starts getting dull. So flashlights first on the list. Second on the list is a little knife. You never know when you might need to open packages or if you need to, you know, defend yourself. Uh, oh God, I just stabbed my foot. All right, so that's what not to do um, with the little knife. All right, so I got this in a package for Christmas with the shard, the Gerber shard and uh, they're both great little things to have. I mean, this has got a pry tool on it and a bottle opener and a screwdriver. This is actually pretty cool. And I think I paid 10 bucks for the, for the pair. Next up, multi-tool. Something that you can carry with you that has a lot of shit in it, like tons of stuff. Not really tons, tons, but enough to get you through the day. So this, I put on my belt clip. You just clip it right here, Boop. you know. You take it off and you can use it to open bottles. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a screwdriver on it. It has pliers. You never know when you might need pliers. So it has a nice set of pliers on it. It also has, uh, let's see, twist it up. A nice little silky saw for Canadian prepper. Eh? And then it has a knife on it right here. If I can get to it, there we go little knife so you can fillet fish and uh, ward off bears, you know, you never know. It's a pretty good size knife too. It's about a little bit of a finger's length. And it's super sharp too. So if you want to open your mail, you know, or like I said, defend yourself from bears or tigers while you're in the woods, this is a great defense tool. Dude, really, if you're sitting there thinking that you can defend yourself from bear or tiger with, just change the channel. Just go, go watch like Poppy or something. But if I was going to leave the house, with one tool. One tool that kind of does a lot of versatile things. It would be my tactical pen. Because one, it has the flashlight on it. Two, it has a pen. Three, it has a glass breaker, which also can double as uh, a self-defense weapon or um, you can also open packages with it because that tip is super sharp. Now, this model comes with a knife. The model that I actually ordered came with a multi-tool on it and I actually have one with a multi-tool but I don't have it with me right now. So so all these little tools in one made with aircraft and aluminum, it's super strong, super versatile. Say you're driving down the street and you go off the road and your windows are rolled up and you go into a lake and you need to get out and that door won't open because now it's got the pressure from the water and it's like 800 pounds and you just break the window and get out through the window and swim your way up if you can swim. Um, another thing is if you're at the side of the, uh, you know, say you're in the parking lot at Walmart and somebody, some asshole left their dog in the car and it's like 110 degrees, you can, you know, call the cops and 
the cops will probably say, well, if you can get into the car, try to get in the car. If you try the doors, you can't get in. You can always break the window and let the puppy up because the puppy needs a better owner. And that owner could be you. You could be, you could have a puppy. You, you could have puppies. Yeah. This pen is so versatile. Now you've got yourself a puppy. You, you've swam out of danger. You're not, you're not drowning in a car. Um, you can attack you, people that are attacking you. You can defend yourself. Um, you can fight bears, and uh, sometimes, sometimes you can fly with this pen. Uh, this is one of the things that I would keep with me at any given point, because you never know what kind of weird stuff you're going to run into. And, um, you know, I, I buy a lot of stuff at the store, and I need something to open packages and stuff. This can do the trick, and I don't need all this extra stuff. I know it replaces, well, it doesn't really replace this, because this one has, you know, like I said, it has pliers on it. That's... How often do you really need pliers? Really depends on what you do every day. Flashlights, well, it's got a flashlight on it, so this replaces the flashlight. It replaces a knife because it has a knife and all that other stuff on it. The only thing it really doesn't replace is the cell phone, but can you, can you stab something with your cell phone? Can you break glass with your cell phone? You know, well, the battery only lasts so long. This tactical pen also um, comes with an extra ink cartridge when you order it and it also comes with extra batteries when you order it. Look for the different specific ones on Amazon. I think I paid like 10 or 15 bucks for this pen and it's just great. And they have specific ones too you can buy uh, that are TSA approved. So you can take them on planes and stuff. I, know, I don't think you can take this one on because it has a knife, but the uh, multi-tool one, you definitely can. Um, so just look up the laws and stuff. Don't go bring that to the airport in case, you know, just kind of do your research first. Um, but that's my EDC. Um, some people like to carry a firearm. And for those people I say, yes, definitely. It's better to have one and not need it. And then to need it, and not have it. Do I carry one? I'm not going to really kind of go into that because there's a lot of channels that cover what to carry for firearms. And I'm going to let those guys do their job. But for me, I just like to keep it simple. Um, I want to be able to take my EDC with me anywhere, um, and not worry about if I'm breaking any laws or, you know, I try not to go places that there's going to be problems. And one of the most important things about being prepared is to be in, not put yourself in scenarios where you're going to need a firearm. Like I said, it's better to have one and not need it. But in my EDC, I have just enough stuff right now where I can comfortably get out of a situation without needing to have that extra oomph of a firearm. It's good to have one though. I think anybody that's doing any kind of prepared stuff should have firearms. And we're gonna talk about that stuff more specifically in a future video. But this is just simple stuff you can carry on your persons all the time <clears throat> for the most part in any scenario that's lightweight, inexpensive, and won't drag you down, that has multiple uses. And that's what you want. You, every tool that you have for the most part when you're being prepared or when you're in a preparedness mindset, you need to have something that's versatile, that has multiple uses, multiple layers of uh, usability. And that's why my favorite for the win is the tactical pen. Other people might like a multi-tool or something else. What do you carry in your EDC? Let me know down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you guys can see the next video that I make. So thank you for coming to the channel. This has been The Prepared Guy. I hope to see you guys in the future and become a part of the community by leaving a comment. And let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's, you know, hang out. Let's, let's, let's connect, me and you. Let's connect. Come on. Come on, guys. Canadian Prepper out. Goodbye, guys. Shout out to Canadian Prepper. You are awesome, dude. I love your channel. A. No, seriously, like, like that's one of my favorite channels because the dude likes flashlights and I fucking love flashlights. I have this flashlight. It's super. Ah, where'd everybody go? I can't see nothing. Oh, okay. See, this is, this is a pretty cool flashlight. This is Bushnell. This is like 1500 lumen flashlight. And like, this is what I carry in my car every day. And this thing's super bright. You know, it's got the tactical stuff and everything, but this is a different video, but shout out to Canadian Prepper. What's going on, man? So, um, yeah, flashlights, flashlights, dude. Yeah, me and you, we connect flashlights. All right, peace out, guys. This has been The Prepared Guy, and maybe next time I'll be more prepared when making a video because I just don't know what I'm doing right now.
Doop, 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 doop.